Hello everyone, my name is Kirill and you are on the Audio Advisor channel. Today we'll talk about the viscous fan coupling and also we'll talk about starch. Here I have a viscous fan clutch. It is located directly inside the fan of the engine cooling system. Since it is installed, uh, probably it is installed from this side, like this. At the back, this clutch is fastened with three bolts. One, two, three. We can see that this clutch is rigidly connected to the fan, and when the fan rotates, the viscous fan clutch itself also rotates. We also see here that there is an input shaft. A special screw nut is also installed on it. I can rotate this shaft, it now rotates freely. Further, a pulley is installed in this place, and a belt is put on this pulley. The belt rotates from the engine and thus rotates our clutch and fan. And so, why do you need a viscous clutch? It is needed in order to turn the engine cooling fan on and off. If the fan is constantly on, then this is bad, because the engine will not reach its operating temperature. Then the oil viscosity is not right, which leads to thermal gaps and the engine under loads will wear out. Therefore, in order to maintain a certain temperature regime for an internal combustion engine, it's necessary to connect or disconnect the coolant system fan on time. Fan is installed in front of the engine, facing the radiator, while rotating creates an airflow that blows on the radiator, thus cooling it. Now let's talk about the device. There are two shear plates inside the viscous coupling system. One plate is connected to the input shaft, and the second plate is connected to the housing of the clutch itself. In a very simplified way, I can imagine the design of the viscous clutch using these two parts. Here I have a shaft, the first plate is on it. Here the second plate also has its own shaft. This is how these plates are inside the clutch. There is no physical touching between these plates, just an empty space between them. If there is no connection between them, how then do these plates affect each other and how does the clutch work? In fact, at the right time, a special liquid appears between these plates, which has very interesting physical properties. This liquid looks like a gel, it is transparent and belongs to the type of so-called non-Newtonian liquids. These are liquids whose viscosity depends on the velocity gradient. Most of the fluids that we encounter in our environment are Newtonian, and there are non-Newtonian fluids that behave very interestingly. A typical example of non-Newtonial fluid is a mixture of cornstarch and water. Even entire pools are filled with this cornstarch with water to see how they behave. If you move calmly in this starch solution, then the liquid behaves naturally, it has a small viscosity, but if you move very quickly on top of it, or even hit it, then it hardens and you even can run through this pool very quickly and not fall. Once again, if you make smooth movements in this starch, or move slow through it, then it behaves like an ordinary liquid, with increased viscosity. But if you apply some kind of slaps to its surface or make very rapid sharp movements, then it hardens. So, this phenomenon of viscosity change under the action of high speeds or loads is used in a viscous coupling. Remember, I told you that inside there are two plates between which there is a gap. And so, at a certain point in time, this special non-Newtonian liquid is supplied to this gap between the plates. And when the plates rotate at the same speed, the liquid behaves as usual. But if one of the plates begins to rotate faster than the other, then the liquid becomes solid, its viscosity increases, and it begins to transfer torque from one disc to another, that is, as if the plates connect. It seems like we figured out how a non-Newtonian fluid works. That is, if the plates rotate at the same speed, then the clutch is disengaged. As soon as one of the plates starts to rotate faster than the other, then the clutch is engaged. But what about the temperature? How does this affect engine cooling? 
The viscous fan clutch has another very important element. It is located in the front. This is the so-called bimetallic strip or coil. This coil is very sensitive to temperature. The thing is, remember I told you earlier that this clutch is facing the radiator. So when hot air starts to flow here from the radiator, this strip heats up and it starts to expand and move special plates inside this clutch. When this plate moves, it opens a special valve there. So when the valve is open, this magic liquid flows from a certain reservoir into the space between the plates, and then the clutch starts to work like a viscous clutch. And now let's go through the modes of operation. So, our engine is cold. At this point, there is a special liquid inside the clutch between these plates. So when the engine starts up, for a short period of time, the clutch is engaged and it all rotates together and the fan works. After some time, under the action of centrifugal forces, this liquid between the plates spreads to the sides of the clutch housing and a gap appears between the plates. Therefore, the clutch disconnects and the fan stops transmitting the load. Experienced drivers may have heard that when you start the car, there is a fan noise for a while, and then this noise disappears. This is just the same effect. When the clutch has already untwisted, the liquid under the action of centrifugal forces has gone to the sides and the clutch stopped spinning. The second mode. The engine slowly warms up Warm air enters from this side. This bimetallic strip begins to expand and thus opens the first valve gates and part of the liquid already enters the space between the plates. And if the plates rotate at different speeds, then the clutch starts to turn on and successfully transmits torque, so the fan starts to work a little. And the third mode, when the engine is fully warmed up and has already become very hot, even more warm air enters this bimetallic sensor, then the valve plates move again and the second valve opens, and even more liquid flows out of a special reservoir and enters the space between these parts, and now the clutch is completely connected and can transmit torque from the shaft. In the normal state, when the clutch is not installed on the engine, when it does not rotate, it is as if it were partially open, that is, under some effort, I can rotate the input shaft. Why under pressure? Because this liquid is already there. It starts to move to the sides only when the clutch starts to rotate. Yes, so now I can turn this input shaft with some effort. Another important moment, in fact, if you lift the hood of the car and look at the fan, how it works in various modes, you'll see it never stops. It just rotates like this on a cold engine, calmly, without load. And if the clutch is working, then while engine is cold, the fan can be stopped. Of course, not with your hands, but with some object, such as a newspaper or a tube. Stick it in the fan and it will stop. And when it warms up while moving, the fan rotates with great effort. Therefore, when clutch is working while engine is hot, you cannot stop this fan in any way. You can try to bring some newspaper to it and make sure that it cannot be stopped. This indicates that the clutch is engaged and it is working normally. Now let's talk about how to take care of it. The service life of this clutch is very large. The manufacturer says that it will work throughout the life of the car. But in fact, when the mileage reaches 4 or 500,000 kilometers, it begins to slowly wear out. Inside this clutch, this magic liquid disappears and at high temperatures the clutch no longer turns on and thus it stops working and our fan does not cool the engine. This can lead to overheating of the engine. So be sure to monitor the temperature of the engine. If any indicators appear on the panel, immediately stop and determine the cause, because if you overheat the engine, then it almost likely will not be repairable. By the way, if you need a new fan clutch or even a pulley, be sure to visit our website autoostrov.by. The link will be in the description.
But now, in real life, this clutch is going out of fashion and is not installed on new cars. Now an electric motor is being installed instead of it, and the electrical gadgets already decide when to turn on the fan and when to turn it off. The main advantage is that an electric fan with an electric motor turns on very accurately at certain points in time. And since modern engines are very demanding about the temperature, so now mostly electric fans being installed, this clutch is very reliable. But just the moment of its engagement is not very precise, it does not work accurately. It all depends on when this bimetallic coil hits up and on some other factors. Basically, this is all that I wanted to say today. By the way, on our other channel, the first magic number will soon be reached – 100,000 subscribers. And on this occasion, we are going to shoot a special video, where we will answer all your questions. But where do we get these questions? Right. Write them down in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video and have the best day. See you soon.